In this video, I'm going to teach you how to approach a girl and get her Instagram in 10 seconds. All right, I was inspired to do this video because I did this exact thing a few days ago. I approached a woman and got her Instagram in less than 10 seconds and it was so smooth and so quick. And this doesn't happen all the time, but when the, the, the situation is right, it works out and that's what I'm going to teach you today. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane, I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification button because I'm dropping video every day. All right, check us out. Woof, this was awesome, man. And it's situational, right? Uh, but this woman was hot, she was young, and this is what happened. So I was walking into a grocery store and she was walking out, all right? When she saw me, she locked eyes and she had this smile, which by the way, from a psychology standpoint, the larger the smile when you are interacting with a woman that you've never met before, the more she's attracted to you. It is right. So the larger the smile, the more she's attracted to you. Doesn't matter her age or anything, or even if she's married, she will find you attractive depending on the more attractive you are. Like I said, the larger the smile, right? So she's walking out of the grocery store and I'm walking in and she's got this big smile. And I said, Oh, hi. And she says, hi. And she stops. And then I looked at her and I said, you're pretty. And she said, well, you're handsome. And right away in seconds, I was like, boom, I got this one. So then I said, are you single? And she said, yes. And I said, well, let's exchange Instagram because I know you're in a hurry because I could tell she was like in a hurry. So boom, she gives me her phone. I put in my Instagram and then she looks at me and she says, I, I hope you're going to follow me back. And I said, of course, I'm going to follow you back. I followed her back, messaged her a little later and we're planning our first date. So let me just dissect this whole situation for you now. So number one thing is, again, this is the situational in order to do it within 10 seconds is you have to obviously lock eyes with the person, right? She, you, if you smile first, that's fine. But you, what you're looking for is her smiling back at you. And like I said, this is key. The larger the smile, the more she's into you. So the next thing is proximity is important because it could be awkward if she's like across the room. Now you got to walk over there. Maybe she's got a bunch of friends, which I don't have a problem with. But I mean, it's just easier if you're like super close. Um, grocery store, for example, you're looking at the, the produce section and she's right beside you, whatever. And you ask her a question. You say, oh, by the way, I noticed I can't see find any bananas around here. Do you know where they might be? There's a fruit fly around here. Anyways, do you know where they might be? And then if she looks at you, like, like right, this is the situation. She looks at you and she's got this huge smile, you know, right away, right? So I've done this many times. I either approach with a question or I see her in a situation. She smiles, I smile, whatever, and we engage. And then I walk right up to her. So how to approach it is this way. This is how I do it. As soon as you lock eyes, as soon as there's a smile, after I've asked them a question and I've engaged very, very quickly, I'll say, you're pretty, something like that. And I compliment them and she'll, they'll get a little shy. It's like, oh, thanks. And then right away, I pop the next question. This is critical. And I say, are you single? And it's very direct, right? I'm qualifying them now because you never know. Maybe she's married, but she just finds you attractive. So she's going to say, oh, I'm married. This is how you handle this, by the way. If she says she's married or she says she has a boyfriend, which could be true. Um, it's been my experience. If in that moment she has a huge smile, she finds you attractive, right? And she says she's married or she says she's got a boyfriend. It's true. Okay. So then I say, well, hey, he's a lucky man and take it as a compliment. I hope this made your day. And then that's it. I don't try to overcome that objective, objective objection because it's most likely true. 
the other so the other thing that women love is they love a man that's direct and to the point doesn't beat around the bush and that's what i do and when i cold approach is i will look at them you know engage quickly say they're pretty and say are you single and if she says yes i don't even waste time i say oh great let's exchange instagram instagram that's it bro it's as simple as that i don't ask for their phone number Okay, this is a little side note about Instagram. I don't ask for their phone number. The reason is because women are twitchy. Women are always concerned about their safety with men. Instagram makes them verify that you're real, right? And most importantly, women are natural investigators. They will go and look at almost all your photos on Instagram, man. They will look at them. They'll see what is this guy's lifestyle? What does he do? And they were, they were, looking at that to determine whether or not they want to pursue this or not. Right. And it's just a nice way to also get to know them. You can now check out their Instagram and you message back and forth. I do not recommend going straight up to getting their number. I always get the Instagram first, get to know them maybe over the another day or two. And then I'll say, look, I'd like to take you out on a cute date, right? I say cute date and why don't we exchange phone numbers so we can coordinate our plans? She most times will say, oh, okay, sure. Here's my number. So this is for another video, but how to take it from Instagram to phone to now you're on a few dates and things like that. Women, by the way, they ultimately prefer to communicate by text or by phone calls. Okay. Most time they prefer phone calls, but you can't get there right away when you've cold approached someone. So hope you like these, these tips on how to approach a girl and get her Instagram in 10 seconds. And like I said, it's situational. And the last thing I want to leave you with that golden nugget here is the larger that smile, the more attractive she's going to be to you. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.